In this video, I will show you how to reset the key of your songs back to default using just a single key on your keyboard. Previously, I created a video on this topic inspired by one of my audience from Zimbabwe. After the release of the video, he reached out with the unimproved and better version of the mapping. And it is absolutely mind-blowing. This is not just a shout out to you my friend but it is more like a collaboration. I truly appreciate you are the kind of a person that every community is lucky to have. A shout out to my other viewers from Zimbabwe still and Kenya as well. It is an honor to have you here. I'm DJ Zako as always. If you are new here please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so that you don't miss out on the future videos. For those already supporting the channel thank you for amazing energy it keeps me going. Now let's get started. In the previous version of this mapping you needed 3 keys to manage the key reset effectively. However with this update a single key does it all. It ensures that the key movement is always correct and seamless. Just launch the action once and it will stay active throughout your mix session keeping everything on point until you finish. Let's see the mapping. Here in the key box select your desired key. Then we move to the action box and type repeat underscore start. Add space. In double quotation type an action key reset. Add space. Then specify time by milliseconds. Add space and put a symbol of an. Add space. Then put a symbol of an again. Add space. Then type parameter underscore equal. Add space and type key, add space, and put a value 50%, add space, and put a question mark, add space, then type nothing, add space, and put colon, add space, then type key, add space, and put a symbol of less than, then put a value 50%, and put a question mark, add space, and type key underscore move, Add space, then put a value plus 0.01. Add space and put colon. Add space and type key underscore move. Add space and put a value negative 0.01. Remember the time you specify from up here, place a big roll in key reset and the values you specify from down here. And you are free to put any of them to your liking, whether the values or the time. Then save it and close this. Now let's load the song and see whether our key is working. Let's load the key a little bit by one simple and launch the action and see what happens at the key area. As you can see after the specified time the key has been reset to its default. Now with the same action running let's load the song to deck 2. And move a little bit up by one simple and see what happens. As you can see after the specified time the key has been reset to its default. Again, let's move a little bit up by one same turn. Now let's move a little bit down by one same turn and see what happens. As you can see everything works perfect, there is no unnecessary movement of the key. That's all for this tutorial, if you have suggestions, improvements or something new related to this topic, feel free to share it, just like how my friend did. I'm always open to collaborations. If you found value in this video, give it a like, comment and share it with anyone whom you think it might benefit from it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so. Till next time, see you.